The rapid advance of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region came as a surprise not only to Russia and outside observers, but even to the Ukrainian soldiers who took part in the operation. This was reported to the Financial Times by soldiers who returned from a mission on Russian territory. A soldier from the 82nd Airborne Assault Brigade named Vladimir admitted that he had a lot of adrenaline in his blood as he prepared to enter Russian territory. However, it became clear almost immediately that his worries were exaggerated. We first entered Russian territory on August the 6th. We were among the first to enter, Vladimir says. To his surprise, the unit encountered no resistance when their 20-ton striker burst across the border in broad daylight. They soon encountered their first Russian unit. The Russians were sitting in the woods drinking coffee at a table. Then our striker drove right into their table. We killed many of them on the first day. Because they were unarmed and did not expect us, the fighter recalls. Not wanting to end up like their comrades, dozens of stunned Russian soldiers simply laid down their arms and surrendered. Over the next six days, the fear felt by many thousands of Ukrainian troops involved in this daring operation gave way to excitement. They advanced rapidly, 5 to 10 kilometers a day, capturing several villages, part of a railway line and a key gas transit point. They began to hastily dig in and prepare for the arrival of Russian reinforcements. But to their surprise, Russian troops did not show up, at least not in the numbers the Ukrainians expected. The Russians concentrated primarily on bombing with guided bombs from planes and using kamikaze drones. This caused some losses to the Ukrainians but did not stop the offensive. It was a bit difficult at first, but then it got easier, says Roman, another soldier from Vladimir's unit. Denis, a driver of a US-supplied Humvee, said the fighting in Kursk felt very different than in Donetsk. It's much harder to fight in defensive positions. The enemy knows everything about us there. They know where we are. Their drones see our every move. Here, we had the element of surprise. But we were also surprised that they were so surprised by our attack, he said. The Ukrainians said that overall, the operation is progressing as they had hoped. In less than a week, they have managed to penetrate more than 30 kilometers into Russian territory. Russia has so far failed to stop their advance, military officials say. Many of the Russian reinforcements have been captured or killed. For example, one Russian convoy was destroyed by missiles from a HIMARS launcher. According to Financial Times calculations, units from at least six Ukrainian brigades are taking part in the fighting on the Kursk front. At least some of them had to be withdrawn from other areas of the front to do so. For example, paratroopers from the 82nd Brigade were redeployed to Sumy Oblast from neighboring Kharkiv Oblast, where they had held off Russian troops who launched their own cross-border invasion in May. Other troops said they were redeployed from strongholds in Donetsk Oblast, including the towns of Chasovyar, New York and Turetsk. Some soldiers admitted to having doubts about the operations at first. Some said they were worried about abandoning their positions in the Donbass while the Russians were still advancing daily, threatening to occupy the region entirely. The already mentioned soldier Denis was worried that the operation in the Kursk region could cost Ukraine some cities in the Donetsk region. New York will be captured 100%. This could happen even tomorrow. These cities are already lost. They are ours only on the map. The Russians destroyed them. Denis said... The evacuation of the residents of the Krasnoyarusky district of the Belgorod region has started since the morning of today. The governor of Belgorod region Vyacheslav Gladkov wrote the information on the Telegram channel. The enemy has become active on the border with Krasnoyarusk region. We are starting to move people living in Krasnoyarusk district to safe places to protect the lives and health of the population, he said. Gladkov did not specify how many people will be evacuated and where they will be taken. I am sure that our servicemen will do everything to cope with the threat that has arisen, Gladkov said. Some 11,000 people have been evacuated from the Krasnoyarusky district in Russia's Belgorod region due to activity by Ukrainian forces, a Russian official has said. District Administration head Andrei Miskov said on the VK social media platform that residents left on buses headed for temporary accommodation, around 500 residents remain, he said. Krasnoyarusky district is located about 45 kilometers from the city of Sudza in the neighboring Kursk region, where the Ukrainian military entered on August 6. It is adjacent to the border of Ukraine on the western side, and Belovsky district of the Kursk region on the northern side. About the situation in the Belovsky district, 
the regional command center has decided to evacuate residents, Kursk Governor Alexei Smirnov said on social media, referring to an area with a population of over 14,000 people. The audacious Ukrainian attacks on Russian sovereign territory are aimed at showing its Western supporters that Kyiv can still muster major military operations while trying to gain a bargaining chip ahead of possible ceasefire talks.